Okay, hey guys, it's uh, Paul from Babel Tech here. And in this video, I'd like to talk about how to create uh, an autoresponder email for MailChimp, um, which you can uh, connect to your, to your Babel Tech website and, the, uh, and the, the email squeeze page on there. So I've talked a lot in my blog and in, uh, in various other forums about how I believe it's a good idea to build your email marketing list. And um, you can do that either with MailChimp or with various other email marketing platforms like uh, ConvertKit or ActiveCampaign, um, uh, SendInBlue. There's, there's, I think there are about two dozen, two dozen different email marketing platforms that you could potentially use um, and connect them to your, your Babel Tech website. Some of them have free plans, uh, some of them don't. But, uh, but MailChimp does have a, uh, a free plan, which is why I have been uh, recommending it up to this point. Um, so, um, and I haven't really created a, a video about how to set up your, your, uh, your autoresponder email because um, there are some resources already uh, on YouTube and, uh, and also if you, if you Google them, you can find um uh tutorials about how to create those responder emails um but uh because mailchimp seems to have changed a few things recently i thought it would be a good idea nevertheless to uh create my own video about how to set up uh, an auto responder email so that uh if somebody comes to your website and you promise them like a, a free pdf in exchange for for subscribing with their email um so the the potential student enters their email, clicks the button, they get sent to a thank you page and uh, they should receive an email from you via MailChimp or whichever email marketing platform, platform you're using. They should get that email with a link to, um, to download the, the thing that you've offered, the, the PDF usually. So um, yeah, so let's, let's walk through that process. So let me um, share my screen with you. Get this out of the way. Okay. Well, let's take a look. Um, let's take a look at what it what it looks like by default. So, when you create uh, a website on Babel Tech, you'll get a uh, a starter template, and uh, and I've I've customized my my starter template a little bit here. Um, so this is this is taken from the the business template. So for the purposes of for the purposes of this demonstration. Uh, I'm saying that my target audience is uh, Japanese accountants and uh, I'm offering this free PDF, six tips for more professional business English. Um, this, is, this is for accountants. So what would happen is, so someone who's in my target niche would uh, click on this, send me, the, send me the PDF button. They would enter their email address. Um, which I'm going to do now. Uh, now, this is a handy hack which you should know about when you're when you're testing when you're testing out your Mailchimp account or or any any marketing any email marketing platform, I guess. Um, and you have a, a Gmail account. You can use uh, Gmail aliases, which means that if I add in like plus um, plus ten. email.com right so so this is the the first part of my email address but if i add a plus 10 to the end of it this creates like an alias of that email account so ordinarily email platforms they won't they won't let you submit like the same email address again and again for obvious reasons but if you create this alias like using a plus 10 or a plus plus 5 or plus 15 or whatever um it the uh, the email platform, the email marketing platform, sees that as a distinct email, so it accepts it without any issues. So let's give this a go. So um, send me the email, send me the PDF. Thank you, and it will redirect me to the thank you page on my website. So that's looking good. So let's go over to my uh, Mailchimp account, um, and if I refresh my account. Uh, 
over here under under audience by the way um so you can see yeah it's it's added it's in it's added in there so if i click on my one subscriber if you have more subscribers of course it'll list out all of them but here i've got one subscriber and so that's in the uh that's in my email marketing list which is exactly what i wanted so that's how that's how it works by default however what i haven't done yet is create that email autoresponder so we need to do that because you know we've promised we've promised these these subscribers that they're going to get to a, a pdf resource so we need to set up this uh, this autoresponder effectively it's like a welcome email um so what we should do is first of all um if i come over here to content studio i think all these mailchimp icons are very <laughs> Mm, very interesting let's put it that way they don't really they don't really speak to me as to what they are but anyway that's what it is at least you get that 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 tool tip that pops up to content studio so let's click on that and uh, what i would like to do here is add a my pdf to like it's like adding it to a media library um so if you look at my files yeah, so you can see I've already added a couple of PDFs in here. Of course, these uh, these thumbnail this this thumbnail view doesn't really give us any description of what they are, so it's not uh, it's not super helpful. But you can change it to list view over here, and this will give you uh, at least the the file names. And you can see I've already added a couple of PDFs. I've got one here, English for Accountants .pdf, and another one which I've added English for financial analysts.pdf and i'm going to talk more about that in a, in a different uh video but uh in your case you'll probably have nothing in here when you start um it'll be probably be an empty folder and you can upload your resources using this uh this upload link here okay so we've got this in our we've got this in our media library so what do we need to do now okay so now we want to go over to automations Okay, now when when you log in, you may see a a link up here in the right that talks about the classic automation builder, and that's what you want. Um, if you don't see that, you might see this screen which just talks about uh, my journeys and explore. Um, so Mailchimp has this thing called uh, customer journeys. Now you see this here. It says customer journeys. It says map out a marketing journey that delivers a unique experience to each of your contacts. And um, but the the kicker is that in order to get these customer journeys, if I look at the pricing tab tab over here, um, you don't get these with the free option. You don't even get them with essentials, but you you need to upgrade to this standard plan, which is this is Japanese yen. So that's about 15 US dollars a month. So you know it's not it's not nothing um, to get this this custom journey builder. Um, so I'm not super impressed with that. Um, so as I said, you may get the this this link. You may get a link up here already to the the classic. It's called classic automation builder. In my case, it's it's not there, and I think it's because I deleted any existing. Um, default automations which they give you um but there is a solution so i'm going to give you a url let's come over here what you'll want to do is add everything at everything that comes after the mailchimp.com okay that's this bit here and i'm going to put i'm going to put the uh the url in the uh in the links below this video so i'm going to copy that and I'm going to replace this. This. Let's make sure I don't double up on the forward slash there. So it should be campaigns forward slash hash mark forward slash create hyphen campaign forward slash explore forward slash email campaign hyphen custom. Okay, so let's give this a go. Okay, now 
And now what this does is it uh, it gives us this is what they call the the, the classic automation builder. Now, um, yeah, so this is great because with the classic automation builder, we can actually set up um, a, uh, a welcome email. So I would say skip the, the featured here and just click on subscriber activity. Um, and, uh, and so here we've got an option, welcome new subscribers and respond to subscriber updates. And I'm gonna talk about this one in a, in a separate video because this allows us to do some pretty handy things with, um, with groups, audience groups, but but that's a little bit more advanced. For today, for today, we just want to set up a welcome email. So let's click on welcome new subscribers. Okay. And uh, so let's give this a name. Let's call it um, okay, okay, lead magnet. So respond. Uh, Call it that, and uh, you should you should have your list already in here. I, I think if you're on the free plan, you you'll only have one list, so that's fine. Um, yep, let's begin that. Okay, so um, yeah, so this is the lead magnet autoresponder. It's uh, most of it's already filled in for you. Um, so this sends out uh, immediately after they join your list. So that's what we want. Um, and it, it sends out the, the email, well, whichever email address you've uh, registered with MailChimp. Um, so that's, that's fine. The, uh, the the thank you so uh, or the subject here is thanks for joining us so you can edit that if you like that's fine um, the content so this is where you actually design like the email itself the 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 email body that contains the the link to your to your downloadable resource um, let's just look at this edit design option. Okay, so um, so there's a there's a choice of like different templates you can pick from here. If you've got like a, a previous campaign, you can you can use that and then you know edit that, save it as a new campaign. Um, so what we might do is take a look at themes. So they give you some free ones. Uh, let's use this one. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's click that. Right, so this is the uh, this is the template which you could start with. So you know, like I could replace this logo with my own logo. Here it says letter from the president. Let's like let's change that. If I click on there, um, all this. Um, uh, free. Um, Study guide, exclamation mark. Save and close that. Um, yeah, and so you could you could do the same here with your with the email heading and the, and the body. Um, so what you could also do is is add a button. Like I could add a I could add a button in here and just call this um, instead of buy now. download your PDF and it links to a file. And this is where we're gonna go over here to the um, content studio. And I want this file here, insert. Okay, and um, and that's, that's fine, I think. So let's uh, save that. Save and close that. Alternatively, what I could have done is edit this body and let's say 
I might put in a link here. So I could type that, highlight it, and make this link to a file, which is exactly the same thing that we did just before. Insert, and there you go. So now we've got like a hypertext link. So, you know, it's up to you which one of these, which, which technique you want to use, whether you want to use the, the button or whether you just want to put in a, a hypertext link in there. I, I think the button's a little better. Uh, it's just a bit more visual and obvious. Um, so let's uh, save that. So yeah, so you can go through and, and edit this to your to your style and taste. Let's save and continue. Hmm. Okay. Right. So um, so that should all be set up now. So um, yeah. Oh, we need to hit start sending. Start sending. Yeah. Uh, start now. Right, rock on indeed. So if I come over here, see my automations. Um, now you can see we've got this link here to go to the classic automations and, that, and you'll probably see that. Um, now, if I come over to my journeys, you can see I've got in here this, uh, this automation set up, lead magnet autoresponder, it's active. Um, yeah, so let's... Um, Let's take it for a spin. Uh, so let's go over to here, get the free ebook. Um, send me the PDF. Uh, what did we use last time? We used that 10, I think, didn't we? Make it 12 because I like even numbers. Okay. Um, let's try that. Thank you. Right. So now if I take a look at um, my audience, audience, how about that? Now I've got two subscribers. I've doubled my audience. Okay, there we are. So that's the uh, the new subscriber. Okay, and uh, here it is. So uh, this is the the auto responder. That we set up, um, and you can see here this it's it's via uh, automations.mcsv.net. So that's Mailchimp's um, Mailchimp's email um, send, sending out um, address. Um, <coughs> excuse me, and you, we can see here that this is the uh, this is the template that we picked for this uh, autoresponder. And if I click on this download your PDF, it's going to open up the uh, the PDF which I created um, and uploaded to the um, the content studio, Mailchimp Content Studio. Similarly, if I click on this other hypertext link, it should do the same thing. There we are. Okay. So so there we have it. So that's how you set up um, uh, an auto responder. Uh, in Mailchimp to uh, to deliver your lead magnet to your email subscribers who uh, who sign up on your email squeeze page. So uh, so I hope that helps. Um, and uh, bye for now. <laughs>